What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of our weekly video game update where we cover, you know, a few games every week and we try to do uh, games that we particularly play or enjoy playing and we play on a regular basis to kind of share that and let everyone else that shares a similar passion for those games to stay up to date. So we've been doing this now for about three, four weeks, even though we should have been doing it for since 2022. Looked up on that, but neither here nor there. Today, we're going to be covering uh, World of Warcraft, as you can tell by the title of this video or this segment of the video. We're also going to be covering Destiny 2. And then um, normally we do Call of Duty, but as of June 19th, at 1 23 p.m central sledgehammer has not updated the patch notes to reflect anything for june 18th or 19th uh same for the war zone as well for raven software neither one of them have patch notes out uh, and this is likely due to the fact that season four reloaded for call of duty comes out next week and we'll get more into that uh, at the end of this episode so Right now, we're going to be covering World of Warcraft, and we're going to be covering basically any updates and patches they have uh, pushed since the last video, which took place June 11th. So we have 12 to the 19th. So let's get into it. It looks like they have an update that took place on the 12th, the 13th, the, and the 18th. So short and sweet for this one. We're going to start, of course, with the... Uh, oldest update so on june 12th uh world of warcraft updated one two three four four segments classes player versus player also known as pvp wow remakes mr pandera pandera and then cataclysm classic so starting off with classes uh they fixed an issue where any tiny dagger was appearing when casting a variety of spells and abilities they also fixed an issue where the low noise variance of frozen orbs was not being used in, inside raids and dungeons. Cosmetics, in my opinion. Uh, for player versus player, they fixed, and this is for the evoker, sorry, fixed an issue preventing Chrono Loop from being used in some locations, including many areas of the Black Rook Hold Arena. And that's really it for there. For WoW Remix, they fixed the bronze cachet value increased by 100%. Minor bronze cachet went from 250 to 500. Lesser bronze cachet went from 500 to 1000. Bronze cachet went from 750 to 1500. Greater bronze cachet went from 1250 to 2500. They also fixed spools of eternal thread stat gain increased by 200%. So minor spool of eternal thread went from 20 to 60. Lesser spool of eternal thread went from 50 to 150. Spool of eternal thread went from 100 to 300. And greater spool of eternal thread went from 180 to 540. Um, lastly, they fixed uh, Emperor Shaho's reputation increase by 700%. So those are kind of, um, kind of big deals in my opinion. Lastly, for Cataclysm Classic, they fix a balancing issue with the Druids. Um, there's a developer note. I'll read that at the, yeah, let's just read it to it. Developer note states, and this is uh, Blizzard. We noticed that the balance Druid gameplay was seeing a trend towards sitting in solar and trying not to leave it, especially in multi dot situations, not engaging with a decent chunk of your core rotation to stay and Solar Eclipse is not a place that we nor the original developers had intended. So we released a change last week that was aimed at preventing mastering snapshotting pre-pull by resetting Eclipse when engaging a boss. We understand this could be a damage reduction in many scenarios. And to add address this, Insect Swarm now deals Spell Storm, Arcane Nature, damage so it can now benefit from Lunar Eclipse. This means when you end up in Lunar Eclipse, you will still be buffing your two core dots. We estimate this change to be about 15% damage increase to Insect Swarm 
which is typically a balanced druid seconds most damage and ability on non-single target encounter. There may be some situation where staying solar eclipse is idea, but that's totally fine. We don't think it's healthy for that to be every situation in every pull. After that, they started a boss encounter and reset eclipse energy to zero. Insect Swarm is now considering both arcane and nature spell causing it to benefit from both eclipse. This tool will be updated in future updates. One moment. All right, sorry about that. Okay, moving on to June 13th, World of Warcraft. They have two, one picks an achievement and the other one is for, again, Cataclysm Classic they've updated. For the achievements, they fix an issue causing some achievement related creatures to despawn and uh, hate the name of their cities <laughs> to despawn in Amir Driz Drazil, the dream's home. Anyways, Cataclysm Classic race change, faction change, and paid server transfer cooldown reduced to three days was originally 30. Magma will no longer fall backwards during impale, preventing players from doing damage. They fixed an issue where the horde team was getting less resources points per tick with three locations captured in the eye of the storm than the alliance team would in the same situation. Uh, they improved combat logging of certain effects. Um, then they had two class updates. One was for the Death Knight. Death Coil will no longer critically heal for 300% of the normal value instead of the intended 200%. And then for the Rogue, Vendetta no longer persists on the target when the Rogue specs out of the talent. Then lastly, for June 18th, they've updated Dungeon and Raids, WoW Remix again, and then some more for Cataclysm Classic. Starting with Dungeons and Raids, the Old Man Legacy of Tear, Emberon, Emberon, there we go, fix an issue where Purging Flames precast visual effects was not matching the spawn location of the beam. I feel like they just did this one again. I'm gonna I'm I'm go back and see if I'm right. Uh, moving on, WoW Remix. Got another update uh, in some ensemble trail seekers Lemire armor white now grants the correct set. Cataclysm Classic got two faster than the speed of light and vigorous Van Cleef Vindicator are now granted properly after completing the achievement. And then archaeology survey equipment should now appropriately despawn. All right, I want I want to see about that dungeon the raid things. I just when I saw that. A while back. And it's very likely they did. Ah, it did, yeah. So back on June 5th, they did. I just lost it. <laughs> uh, Older, Older Man Legacy is here on June 5th. Imbron addressed an issue where Purging Flames visual does not line up with Beam Area. And then for yesterday, June 18th, fix the issue where Purging Flames precast visual effects was not. Okay, so they're still having issues with it. That's funny. All right. Well, onwards, upwards to the next game. All righty. Onward to Destiny 2. Destiny 2 does have a smaller update this week. Um, update is for 8.0.0.4, uh, which came out June 18th. They have one for activity, which is a campaign. They have one, two, three, four for gameplay and investment, which is armor, weapons, ability, and accessories. They have a platform and system update, and they have a generals update. So let's get into it, starting with general. They fix an issue where the game could crash if players' consumables inventory was full when trying to pick up these items. Modes of light, luminescent seed, strand medi mediations, and polymorphic shell code. Then for platform and systems, they fix an issue that would cause audio output to be silent on the PC when using spatial sound formats, including Windows Sonic for headphones. Fix an issue that would cause audio output to be silenced on the PS5 when emulating the PS4 exe executable with 3D audio for headphones enabled. Um, and then for gameplay investments and investments, there we go. Accessories, they fix an issue causing the lore tab to 
lower tab for the Nakri ship to not display properly. Uh, it so now it will display how thoughtful you waited for a visit from me until the very end. Let's chat, shall we? Um, abilities fix an issue where a smoke bomb would not make players and their allies invisible when the trapper's ambush is equipped. Also fix an issue where picking up stasis shard with a grill with the glacial harvest aspect equipped wouldn't heal the player. Lastly, fix an issue where the faucet of command or loading behavior could be activated repeatedly with no cooldown. For weapons, there's four. Uh, fix an issue where players would hit a weasel, uh, weasel error code when reshaping their exotic class glaives from the Witch Queen's release. Fix an issue where the Vowed Disciple Adept weapons did not cost spoils of conquest to perform equipment weapon enhancement. Fix an issue where seasonal weapons from the Lightfall year require Lightfall to be craftable. Players still need the pattern to unlock these to craft these items. Sorry. Players still need the pattern unlocked to craft these items. Um, lastly, they fix an issue where the Tusk of Boar Grenade Launcher and the Multimach CCK or CCX submachine gun wouldn't enhance properly. These weapons now enhance correctly and those previously enhanced versions should be updated to work as expected. Lastly, for gameplay investment, armor has one update. Fix an issue preventing hazardous propulsion enhanced rockets buff from applying the rocket damage when some lower strength weapon damage buffs such as radiance were active. Uh, Sub note they had hazardous propulsion will only override radiant and other similar bonuses when the stack count is high enough to exceed radiance damage bonus. It will also not override in case where it does not apply, i.e. non-rockets. All right, and then lastly for Destiny 2's update for 8.0.0.4, campaign underneath activities, the final shape campaign, uh, exegesis, fix an issue stopping players from getting the prismatic subclass in the following circumstances being a fire team where at least one player has already had the subclass that was an issue again last week i remember uh players on a second character of the same class after gaining the prismatic on their first character of that class on the same account and then joining another player after the subclass part of the mission then gets kicked to orbit during the cinematics um Affected players will get Prismatic subclass and all missing unlocks the next time they visit the Pale Heart. Final Shape, Final Shape Campaign Transmigration fix an issue in the Empower Font step where the activity would become soft locked if a player immediately defeated the Eaters of Light and Dark before they stood up. Yeah, so I mean, not too much going on for Destiny 2. Um, so yeah, onward to the next game. We'll see what we got next up. All right. I was still looking for Call of Duty updates. Couldn't find them. Couldn't find them on Call of Duty.com. Couldn't find them on Charlie Intel. Um, they did introduce a new grenade launcher or new, uh, jack conversion kit for it. But other than that, I can't find anything. So to wrap up the rest of this video, we're going to go with Nintendo Direct, which took place just a little over a day ago um on there where they kind of talk about everything so june 18th this this happened so this is everything that nintendo uh announced for nintendo direct so everything coming to the nintendo switch so without further ado wrapping up this episode of patches and updates and more we're going to get into the games nintendo announced on june 18th Let's get into it. So we have the Legend of Zelda Echo Echoes of Wisdom was announced for the Nintendo Switch, and you will actually be playing as Zelda, who's going to be the protagonist in this game. It will be released on September 26, 2024. You have Metroid Prime 4 Beyond. Uh, gameplay and release window was shown. Um, it has a release date of 2025, so next year. No hard dates on that one. Highly anticipated and uh, favorite game. This game, I've been seeing a lot over social media. Everybody seems to just be loving it. I'm excited for it. Mario and Luigi, the Brothership. Uh, 
This one is coming to the Nintendo Switch on November 7th, 2024. It does have a very unique uh, graphical design. Um, I'm all for it on this one. This is like a small change that actually works for once. You also have Dragon Quest 1, or sorry, Dragon Quest, yeah, 1, 2, and 3, which HD 2D remake, um, both of which, or sorry, Dragon Quest 3 will be released first on November 14th, 2024, and then Dragon Quest 1 and 2 will follow at some time in 2025. Donkey Kong Country returns in HD version. Um, it is set for January 6, 2025. Super Mario Party Jamboree. I'm a big fan of Super Mario Party games. I love them. It's a game I can sit around with my wife and now even my kids and play and just have fun and cause chaos. So you can bite your ass when I get this game. Uh, but Mario Party Jamboree is headed it is coming out october 17th 2004 so just in time for the kick off the holiday season this is a big one it has uh, five new game boards two board games from previous preview games over 110 mini games a coupon mode supports over 20 players and it was just freaking ridiculous to watch it so I, i'm excited this is deemed their biggest game yet in the series so happy for that uh, Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting Collection Arcade Classic um, is coming and it is it doesn't have a release just yeah it doesn't have a definitive release date but sometime in 2024 but you we gotta see X-Men Children of Adam Marvel Super Heroes Marvel vs. Capcom Clash of Super Heroes The Punisher Marvel vs. Capcom 2 uh, X-Men vs. Street Fighter and Marvel Super Hero vs. Street Fighter so I'm I'm excited for that one Legend of Zelda, uh, oh sorry, Nintendo Switch, where is it? Legend of Zelda, A Link to Future Pat or Link to the Past, Four Swords, Metro, Metro Zero Mission, Perfect Dark, Turok, Dinosaur Hunter are all being added to Nintendo Switch uh, later on, well, later as of yesterday. So if you go on, you can find them on the Game Boy Advance app and the Nintendo 64 app built into the uh, Nintendo Switch. Then you also, they also announced that the Nintendo World Championship NES Edition, um, they're getting an overall new look. Nintendo Switch Sports is adding basketball as a free update this summer. Uh, Nintendo also gave yet another look into LEGO Horizon Adventures, which I talked about in the last, at uh, the Summer Game Fest 24. Uh, mobile game Fantasian is being released to Switch this holiday season. Tales of the Shire, Lords of the Ring game, will uh, you get to live as a peaceful hobbit? Again, there's no uh, set date on this one. They just kind of showed it. Um, Hello Kitty I Island Adventure, you will get. You you'll be able to get too. Again, no release date. Disney Illusion Island Mystery in and Monos free update is out as of June 18th. Luigi Mansion 2 HD is almost here. It will be released June 27th. Funko Fusion gameplay was shown. Uh, so this kind of looks interesting. You play as Funko Pops. Metal Slug Attack Reloaded is coming. They also have Darkest Dungeon 2 will, will come out next month, July. I believe it's July 15th. Yep, July 15th, 2024. Looney Tunes Wacky World of Sports will be coming out. Strays will be coming, or Stray will be coming to the Switch this holiday season. Um, if you're not familiar with that one, that's the game where you get to play as a stray cat. Highly uh, beloved by a lot of people. Um, Mio Memories in Orbit is set to come out. Uh, they introduced a new crewmate and imposter role, which is coming to Among Us, or came to Among Us back on June, just yesterday, June 18th. Next on, our next thing they announced was Just Dance 25, uh, was coming into the scenes uh, in October with 40 brand new songs, they state. 
Ace Attorney Investigation Collection is coming out. Phantom Brave, the Lost Hero, is coming out um, next year. Formagia. <laughs> uh, this, this looks like a weird gameplay. It's coming out November 1st. The 100 Line Last Defense Academy. That one is... It, it just got shown, no release date. And then we also have Romancing Saga 2, Revenge of the Seven. Is set to come out again. No release date. Uh, Fairy Tale Two was also shown again. It just says winter of twenty twenty four. The new Dim Pie Min. Uh, it was shown as well, and it's set to come out July twenty second. So they announced a lot of games. We got to see a lot. Of, like they gave a lot of games shown. Some had official release dates. Some did not. Uh, so it's. It's definitely interesting. There's a lot of anticipated games. Uh, Zelda, The Echoes of Wisdom was a big one. I've been seeing a lot in the last 24 hours. People just kind of losing their mind um, since very, very few Legend of Zelda games you actually get to play as Zelda. You often play as Link. Uh, Metro Prime 4 Beyond, Mario and Luigi Brothership, Super Mario Party Jam Green, Donkey Kong Country Returns. Those are probably the top five games I've been seeing. Everyone, I mean, everyone knows who who those are uh, so i'm excited for four four well three of these five games legend of zelda games as we have talked about in previous episodes um hit and miss on uh, but since this is not breath of the wild and it actually is going back to um more of a plumpy cartoonish design and you get to play a zelda i'm all for it. um last one i can think of is when you gotta play a sheik which is Zelda. Um, so excited for it. Mario and Luigi Brothership is a co-op one, so that'll be a fun one to play. Um, I'm sure I'll be playing it with either my daughter or my wife. And same with Super Mario Jam Party Jam Free. I'm excited for all those. So, but yeah, that's that's it for Nintendo Direct. All right, so that is everything for the week of June 18th. Um, we'll have another episode of releasing for the final week of june covering basically everything from june 19th to june 25th and talking about more games that have come out again like i said at the top of the episode um there are no official patch notes uh published or released anywhere on on or about call of duty i do know they they uh, released a conversion kit for the grenade launcher uh, which is making it very uh, nuisance, so to speak. They buffed and nerfed a, uh, a bunch of weapons, but I, I, I truly believe this is because Reloaded Season 4 drops next week, June 25th, so we'll have a big update, I'm sure, uh, for that one. Otherwise, we covered World of Warcraft for about three four days. Not a lot of like pertinent ones happened. Um, unless you're talking about like remix, then they did update of a fair amount that will change the gameplay there. Um, Destiny 2 got some major updates as or medium sized updates, and then Nintendo Direct released or announced, sorry, announced a bunch of new games coming out. So it's it's a jam packed summer, and we'll be back for more updates on June 25th slash 26th. Uh, also, don't forget if you are just watching these video game updates thank you so much don't forget to like and subscribe button share it with your friends share it on social media um, comment down below what games you'd like to see us covered as well um, otherwise make sure you tune into our podcast episodes every thursday uh, bright and early it gets released everywhere podcasts are available including this youtube channel um, also along on facebook uh, but if you want to see so to speak behind the scenes type content then right now we've been going live over on tiktok to um want to like branch out but also they're allowing us uh or they're allowing me i guess i should say we're going live over there because they don't store any videos on demand so whenever we do go live it disappears so you can't go back and watch it which is it helps us uh, but we're going live on Tuesday nights when we're doing our podcast recording sessions, whether it's for two guys, one game pad 
or it's for a ring rage report where we're covering WWE. Um, so come check it out over there. However, the only kind of like caveat, so to speak on that is they're allowing my channel to go live. They haven't allowed two guys, one gamepad to go live on our channel. So um, if you head over to TikTok, go to the links are listed down below in the description, head over to two guys, one gamepad on TikTok, smash it of a loving crap out of that follow button. Um, Cause once we hit, I believe it's 500 or 250, one of those two, uh, we get the ability to go live and then we will go live on TikTok underneath two guys, one gamepad. Otherwise to watch us live both before a recorded episode, during the recording and after a recording episode, uh, you just need to have my personal one, which is Cybermark Sig. And we've been doing that for about three weeks now. And it's been having a lot of uh, fun over there talking with uh, just random people who show up in TikTok community. So, but until next time, everyone, thanks so much for tuning in, hanging out and listening to this week's updates. Again, if there's a video game you would like to see us uh, cover every week, drop it down below in the comments. And if you know the date that or like the day of the week, those patches and updates come out. Like for example, Call of Duty, World of Warcraft, Destiny, everything comes out on Tuesdays. Um, drop that in that same comment as well. Otherwise, if you like this type of content, give us a thumbs up, like and subscribe, and we will see you on the next weekly update. Till then everyone, take care, stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you next week. Till then everyone.